Sugar Happy here, and I'm back again with another tutorial. The tutorial today is going to be on advanced depth of field. And uh, for, for those of you guys who don't know what depth of field is, it's basically like if your eyes or a camera is focused on a, an object, it makes the background appears blurry. So here's what the final product will look like. So if you could see the background, it's like blurry while the character is still in focus and is clear so let me play this video and you will see yeah it looks pretty good you could like use this for cinematics and stuff and uh the reason why i'm calling it uh advanced is because like i've seen other tutorial makers on youtube where they do this effect and it's like they only mask around the guy or mask a guy itself out and everything is blurry but the reason I'm calling it advanced is because I do multiple masks which makes it like the farther the object is it's like the more blurry it gets so this won't be that blurry this will be more blurry and this will be more and more blurry so yeah so <clears throat> plus uh, I am going to be using Twix to show I'll show you guys the the uh, are my settings so yeah let's begin so I have imported my clip already and I'm going to go to effect effect and revision plugins and Twixter Pro I usually record my footage in 60 frames a second but I got lazy and I just recorded it in, in 30 frames a second so uh, what I like to do is for image prep, I like to do contrast edge enhance and for warp in inverse with smart blend. I'm going to slow this down by 15%. Uh, for the main background layer settings, I put that to 60. For FG1 settings, 60. And repeat for FG2 and FG3. 60 and finally 60 so yeah let's see that looks pretty good all right so yeah let's begin now let me just do a quick color correction too so i'm gonna go to effect color curves or color correction and go to curve and slightly darken this and make it slightly bluer and then next I would like to go back to color correction and uh, add vibrance to make the colors more vibrant 100% and saturation uh, put it on 5 uh, that looks much better now and finally Go to color correction, brightness, and contrast, and just darken this a little bit. And yes, that looks good. Oh, one more thing is for the Twixter layer, just put turn on uh, frame blending and double click this so as to see the slash going to the right. That signifies. Uh, freaking let's see let's see it signifies frame blending pixel motion there we go all right so let's begin first go to layer new adjustment layer and i am going to mask out this area right here so go to pen or the pen tool yes and mask this out i'm not gonna like perfect it because this is just a tutorial but Please, when you guys are doing it, just take your time so it will look much, much better. Mm. All right, so add another adjustment layer and mask out this side. I just wanted to say while I'm doing this, I'm sorry I haven't been making tutorials. 
like on a regular basis but it's just that i've been uh busy these past few weeks with like the army stuff and uh and editing so yeah just bear with me and i will bring amazing contents to you guys so yeah let's see all right and <clears throat> basically just repeat it for every part that you want more blurrier than the next so i'm just gonna go to another adjustment layer and mask out this building right here so mm, yes And like I said, again, if you guys have any tutorials you guys want me to do, just uh, let me know and I will attempt to replicate it to the best of my abilities. And uh, I would like you guys to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Love and yeah, I love you guys. I honestly do love you guys. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so two more to go. So layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm gonna mask out this building. Yep, yep, yep. By the way, guys, uh, like, when was it, like June, I had only like, 10 subscribers now i have 81 subscribers oh my god i am getting famous really really famous so yeah thanks to you guys i am getting known and uh, yeah hold on let me control or undo that so yeah 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 bum, bum. all right so the final thing to do is mask out this background. So one more adjustment layer, layer new, adjustment layer, and let us begin. Bam. Wait. Undo this. Bam. Bam. Add that. Bam. Freak it. Mm. You just go faster. Oh, that reminded me of Sonic. Go, 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 gotta go fast. Mm -mm. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Go, 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 Sonic X. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry about that. I like to sing a lot. Plus, I like to just say random stuff when I'm actually doing something to occupy the time. Occupado, if you get what I'm saying. And, uh, yeah. Usually I'm not this energetic, but I just had like two Red Bulls. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, plus somebody said that I should be more enthusiastic in my videos. So from here on out, I will. So there you go. So now let's see, let's see. To those uh, adjustment layer, you wanna go to effect, blur and sharpen and Gaussian blur. So for this one, I don't want it to be that blur because it's like up close to you. So let me put this to, let's see, like 4.5. And let me just control C and control V to paste it to this one. For these two buildings, uh, let me just control V that again and increase the blurriness to, let's see, let's see. Seven, actually seven point five seems good. And control, or yeah, control C, paste it, control V, seven point five. And for the background layer, I am going to control V and increase the blurriness to uh, like a ten. So if you look at this now, you see this nice cinematic effect but if you see it here it's like because i did it so fast it's like 
not blurry here so that's why I said take your time when you're doing this so you can have the best results possible so yeah that's basically the advanced depth of field tutorial you could use this in like uh, intros or cinematics or whatever and yeah plus you guys learned how I do my Twixter so yeah bye and I will see you again on my next tutorial peace